I've got my mud today. It's a good Sunday. I uh, also got a phone call yesterday from Captain Blue Hen Comics. Two, two comics are sitting there waiting for me. I so wanted to get there. We, um, as a family, we were out and about. We ended up mainly in Wilmington. I couldn't swing it back around. It didn't make sense to swing it back around in Newark, so I couldn't get there in time. Now they're closed until Wednesday, which, mm, they're just sitting there waiting for me. Um, yeah, they have limited times. I mean, during times like this, it's, it's rough on these uh, bookstores, comic book stores. Support your local comic book store and bookstore for that matter. Uh, I ran 241 days of 5K runs. I accidentally wrote down 141. I was like, that doesn't look right. And I looked over and I was like, hmm, other 100. <laughs> 241 days. Um, countdown 15,000 words. Confessions of a workaholic. <sighs> this is exactly where I wanted to be to put this extra push at the end. I'm definitely over 10,000 words. And initially, initially, when July was wrapping up, I was gonna call this countdown to 10,000 words. And I was like, I think I can do 10,000. Not a problem, I can knock it out. I mean, it wasn't that easy. I mean, I just got 10,000 yesterday. But um, this is where I wanted to be, where, where I, I've got the routine down, I want to sit down and write, I've still got the ideas up here and I just gotta get them down on the computer. So, looking for a big day today. And then like I said, as long as I'm between 12,000 to 13,000, tomorrow I know I've got different times during the day Monday, hopefully. <laughs> Definitely Monday night, and then just a last ditch effort on Tuesday night to try and hit that uh, 15,000 words. Thank you for tolerating me, but this is holding me accountable. So, anything I talk about is at brentevans.net, and um, books on a Sunday. That's typically what I talk about on Sundays. And uh, normally, I have right here, I, I remove them, because otherwise the, the mic and the camera would start shaking. But um, I have three books, and these three books are my go-tos on those mornings where I'm just like, what am I doing? <laughs> and I know I've flashed them at different times before, but now they're all going to be flashed together at once. I got the Jocko book, his uh, Discipline Equals Freedom, and um, yeah, I got it all marked up, all kinds of good stuff in there. Just, <clears throat> just you know, just punches you, makes it makes you, yeah, I do have to get on that mill and do something. Uh, that guy, if you follow him on, um, I forget which one, <laughs> I think it's Twitter, uh, every morning he just posts his watch. He's up like right around 4.30 a.m. every day working out. The man is a beast. Uh, another favorite of mine, The War of Art, Stephen Pressfield. Um, I actually read this uh, before I did the uh, little post-its, uh, which is probably a good thing because I just would have posted it up this <laughs> all over the place. But his, uh, his little chapters are easy and quick, so they're, you know, a professional is prepared. A professional does not show off. Um, but yeah, uh, this, is, this is another different one that I'll go to to um, kind of inspire me along and push me through. And then my most recent one I put up there, Austin Cleon, Steal Like an Artist. And uh, yeah, that one's got the post-its and everything. And uh, it's his are, are fun books because he, he doodles. He does all the writing. That's his handwriting. Love it when, man, if you had cool handwriting like that. But um, yeah, it's a, it's a simple, easy read. And, and he's got all these fun diagrams and everything next to it. But uh, yeah, there's a bunch of stuff in here that has certainly helped mm, push me along. Look at that, number three. Write the book you want to read. And as Cecil tells me, it's a beautiful day to write a book. I do have a new book that I think I'm gonna read, um, probably after Tuesday. <laughs> but um, it's another awesome Cleon book, and uh, it's called Keep Going. Uh, 
about 10 ways to stay creative in good times and bad. And um, <clears throat> I was I was hedging on this one. I was like, do I do I want to dig into a book right away? And just flipping through, and <clears throat> yeah, he's got fun things. Here, let me take a sip. Take a look. Read. I'm back. And um, this jumped out to me. This locked me in. I was like, all right, I'm reading a book. Do you see that right there? That's Mr. Phil Collins. He's got him on his wall. Phil Collins. This is an album that I just got from Long Play Cafe. Um, this is Phil Collins' first album, solo. And yeah, it's got the one in the air tonight. I've talked about it before and everything. And um, I did. As soon as I saw it in this book, I was like, I'm reading it. I'm reading it this week. <laughs> that was the sign. Um, yeah, Phil, I've been listening to him while I write up in the library, flipping this particular album. Um, just especially the second side. That second side, I totally, when that one comes on, that one seems to help plow through some writing for me. Phil's got to do something about his eyebrows. Actually, I was looking at this real close. He's got a nasty cheek hair coming out over here. Woof, Phil. Clean that up, boy. Well, <laughs> that's books on a Sunday. Quarter of the day. <clears throat> a recipe for getting more out of what you want. Hmm, I should read that again. A recipe for getting more out of what you read. <laughs> Start more books. Quit most of them. Read the great ones twice. James Clear. James Clear. Atomic Habits. It's my wife's book. She's read it. I didn't, obviously, because this is a new one. Here, I'm gonna stick this one here. I quote a lot of James Clear stuff. I should probably read this one, but a lot. <laughs> when she was reading this, she was like, you do this. You do this too. You told me I should do this. I was like, yep, way to go, James. Him and I, just like that. That's it, I did that, I did that. I told you about the runs, I did all the books. That's all. Tomorrow's Monday. Blech. Sorry. But um, I'll be here. We'll, we'll get back at it. And um, in the meantime, make the good choices. Make it a good day. I'll see you tomorrow.